YouTube Inter ID Reviews here with another figure review for you. And today we're going to be looking at the Grenadier Elite. And this is from Gears of War 2. Here's a quick look at the figure in packaging. A really nice figure and really hard to come by these days. I actually picked him up from um, Frankenstein's this Saturday and he was 20 bucks. Picked him up with a couple tickers and a cog soldier. And here's the side of the packaging. A nice image of the character from the game. And here's the other side of the packaging. And here's a look at the back of the packaging. We have Gears of War 2. Picture of the figure. Grenadier Elite. A nice read up on the Grenadier. I'm willing to pause that and read if you like. Another picture of the figure. Holding his Nasher shotgun. And a look at the other figures in the line. We have Marcus Phoenix from Gears 2. Grenadier, Hoffman, Ticker, Dominic Santiago, the Flamer Grenadier, or the Flame Grenadier, the second Cog Soldier, and the Palace Guard. You can see I have some damage in my packaging, which is why I'm probably going to open this guy. Alright, so we're just going to get this guy out of packaging and have a closer look at him. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the Grenadier Elite out of packaging. Let's have a look at his accessory he comes with. It is the Nasher shotgun. Pretty nice. It has the articulation right here. You can see. It's a nice rusted brown color. And it comes with the peg, the peg into the back. Move that aside. He holds it he holds it actually decent. Move that aside. Let's have a look at the figure itself. It's really nice. Quick 360. You see, he comes with a, a frag grenade on the back here and a frag grenade on the front, and they don't appear to be removable. I don't want to break it, so. But it's a really nice touch. If you have the um the 2009 Comic Con Lambent, this is actually the sculpt that one is from. It's the same sculpt without the armor and just a different different paint application. Let's have a look at some of the detailing. It's a really nice figure. Really nice head sculpt. As you can see all the, the scales and holes and imperfections are done really nice. A nice blood red for the armor. The straps are all detailed. He has uh, one open palm and one gripping palm. You actually see the veins coming down the arms. Down to the belt. Again, there's his uh, frag grenade. He has a grenadier. The straps in the leg. Nice big boots. This figure actually stands pretty well. I don't know if he has holes or not. Yeah, he has peg holes, but you don't really need them. He stands a lot better than the um, the Theron guard I have. I don't know why they have the same. They seem to have the same bulky sculpt. Just look at the back of the belt, his backpack, or his back strap, excuse me, and he has a hole for the, the Nasher, which is really nice. Just look at all the scaling and detailing on the back. NECA does an excellent job with these figures. Really nice. Another quick up and down. Now let's have a look at the articulation. Okay, so as far as articulation for the figure, the head can rotate back and forth. Mine is really stiff, fresh out of the box. Nothing up and down, so just a swivel. Shoulder can go up about that far, as well as come in and out. There's a rotation at the bicep, however this armor impedes on that. The elbow can bend in and out. There's no swivel. And there's a swivel at the wrist, which is where a ball joint. Uh, upper torso, there's a appears to be a ball joint at the waist. He has a V cut here at the the waist area, which is really stiff. I'd have to put this in the freezer to get that to move. And a rotation at the knee, not much of a bend. And there's nothing at the ankles, 
but he stands really good, so it's really not an issue. That's pretty much it for articulation. And here he is standing with the rest of my Locust figures, and he's in pretty good scale. You see he's a little bulkier and has a larger head than the tr uh, traditional Locust drone, and he's about even with um, the Theron guy right here. So this is a really, really nice figure, probably probably my favorite at Tassel. I really like the headshot Locust drone, but the for the actual sculpt, probably my favorite. This one has way better accessories. A really nice figure. If you can find him for a decent price, I'd recommend picking him up. He's kind of hard to find now. I got him for 20 bucks at Frank and Sons. The lady got one in, and I picked him up along with these tickers. Um, again, I'll be going to WonderCon this weekend. I'll be attending Friday and Saturday, so be on the lookout for videos and news from that. Um, stay tuned for more figure reviews. Please, please like, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.